Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and are making some really good trades, giving you guys a new Bitcoin update here. So the markets have been very choppy, haven't done really much, you know. It's still in this 1212 setup. We continue to make lower highs, and until we take out this peak, really, Bitcoin could be getting ready for another leg down again, right? So could this just be another one too? For me, it's kind of, it's getting a bit extreme now. It's it, there's too many one twos, and usually if there's so many one twos, then the collapse should be a, like a complete massacre, and the drop should be ab abysmal, and it's gonna be like re it's gonna be it's gonna be a bad time, right? It's gonna be really bad. All these threes are gonna extend lower, and you're gonna have matching fours and fives to finish up the counts down here. It's gonna be choppy, just as choppy down here. Now, the fact that it's taking too long means that either it's going to turn into a bigger connector, a bigger corrective move, which means that we could be doing something like this, a, a uh, sorry, a, sorry, not a, ABC, sorry, WWXY. And this ABC is just, it's just going to have to extend higher. This B wave is going to have to extend higher. And it's going to be more corrective and it's going to be more choppy. It's just going to mean Bitcoin is just going to be really difficult to trade, right? And it's not, it might not be worth it to just try and, you know, catch shorts and longs here. You're going to get chopped up. Bitcoin continues to pump and takes out this peak. There you go. Now you have up the potential to go up to 65, 68,000, maybe even higher, make a new all time high. But I really, I really think that the, uh, when you take a look at market cipher it just tells you a big the, what's going on like look at these long and short signals that we're excuse me that we're getting this looked like it was ready to spill over on the daily it looked like it was ready to pump here collapse here again now it's pumping today right and the 12 hours the same thing we had these blood diamonds we had increasing red money flow pump it's dump time now it's pump time now it's dumped it's dump time to dump and now it's now it's time to pump guys you better get long you know better load up on them longs let's take a look at what smart money is doing and smart money i believe on the six minute like the smaller time frames are they're selling right now so they're selling into this and if they continue to sell then you know you're going to get some more downside but you're not actually you're actually not getting that much right now so maybe you'll take out this peak and you'll end up going to to the to the previous highs here of 62 63 i'm not too sure you know, I don't know where this is going to end up. We're just in a very difficult spot for trading Bitcoin. And I don't like to trade here. I don't like to get chopped up. You guys, you know, you can trade the range, right? You just know you're in a range. So you buy at the lows, you sell at the highs. You buy at the lows, you sell at the highs, right? So you buy low, short. You buy, you sell, and then you short and you write it down. You, put, you cover and you get back along again. So that's up to you guys if you want to do that. All right, you can use these smaller time frames on Wave Edge. To catch the tops and buy the dips top dip you know i think I, I think we shorted here it dipped down and it came back up and stopped this out and we shorted it again and that closed with a marginal profit came back up over the weekend the dumped you know it's as it's not to me it's just not worth it um so yeah until then you know just be patient sit on your hands and wait for the charts to play out right the charts are going to give us a, the signal once a, a high or a low is broken, let me see here. We probably have a channel at this point. So I think I'll just delete this uh, ghost chart and I'll just draw a quick chat, a parallel channel to see where everything's at. Yeah, so we just got rejected uh, here. So it's probably, you know, not a bad time to short, I guess. And in terms of a, of a wet, of a channel, I mean, we could play these pivots, you could play you could drag it down lower, you know, although we only have one point of contact there. So really, this is just a down sloping trend line. But you can use this as a reference. If it dumps all the way back down here, maybe this is another dip buy. And then we go back up again. So I don't know. Unless you break this channel towards the downside and this, this line fails, then we're probably going to go. If you break this pivot, I think we're probably going to go back down to 44K. So that's what, I'll, that's what I'll be watching for. Okay. Anyways, have a good day, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next update. Peace.